Hey guys, it's Finch here. We're back with my own game. Um, it was the first black white game again this week, which is pretty cool. I love playing early in the week. But anyway, I'm against my good buddy, um, ZF here. And um, so right off the bat, um, I was expecting some sort of Mammoth Swine Rain. Um, so I elected to use Rotom W on a Sand. Um, between that and Slowbro, but I ultimately picked Rotom W. This team worked out pretty well. Um, I was also kind of expecting Jirachi instead of um, Ferrothorn, so... I actually packed Exedril and Heatran, kind of double covered for that, which enables my psychic types. And then the team just kind of filled itself out quite nicely. Um, really like this build, just to go through the sets. It was Scarf Tyranitar, um, <coughs> Standard, Sand Force, Exedril, Specs Trick, Recover Latios, Specially Defensive, Stealth Rock, Heatran, Combine Focus Blast, Psychic, Rear Nicholas, and Especially Defensive with Burn Wash. Um, if you notice my voice a little different, I have a little cold right now. Not that big a deal, definitely feeling a little better actually already. Um, but yeah. Voice is 100%, so pardon me there. Um, but anyway, solid team. But ZF definitely brought a really threatening team of his own. Um, probably to start things off, almost definitely going to be defensive because this team lacks pretty much any defensive coverage. Um, from there, he's got Keldeo. Um, could be Scarf or Specs. Looking at the team, I'm thinking Scarf is a bit more likely right now as he's almost definitely going to be a setup. Thunderous T as I know ZF loves that name, Pokemon like that. And Rocker has to be Garchomp, so by process of elimination, it's probably a Scarf Keldeo. Um, then he also has a Scizor. Um, I'm thinking right off the bat that it's going to be a Choice Banded variant. As ZF used a rain with Choice Band variant, a Scizor we won. But um, its placement as the only um, steal struck me as really bizarre, especially without a Landorus T or like a Sash Alexander Power Ice. Um, it was weird. Um, personally, I wouldn't use something like this. But um, it definitely can work really well here. He faces both Eladios and Rio Nicholas here with the Scarf, um, potentially Scarf Scizor or Band Scizor with Pursuit. Um, so I could go a long way for him. Um, in addition to that, he has Tentacruel, um, just Spinner, Calio Check, you know the drill, um, solid Pokemon Array, no doubt. Um, Thunderous, which again, I'm pretty sure is set up. I'm not sure if Agility or um, or not. Um, if it's Bex Caldeo, then I'm thinking it's more likely to be Agility. If it's Scarf Caldeo, it's more likely to be an Assy Plot, just so the team complements itself. And then Garchomp, which is definitely rocks. Um, <clears throat> my initial impression is that it's Yachi Berry, which would make all the sense in the world because um, he relies on Scissor for a ton of things that, like, kind of be otherwise needed for. Um, for example, Hidden Power Ice plus Thunder, um, Rio Nicholas could be a pain in his ass long term, especially now Specs Caldeo. Um, if Scissor just takes the paralysis and takes a couple too many Thunders, no way of recovering it. So yeah, um, it actually makes a lot of sense to me, but um, it actually turns out to be a pretty surprising step that's going to get me in the long haul. But let's see how this game unfolds. Uh, I'm facing Rain, so lead naturally is Road and Wash. I'm trying to get the burn off. Um, he's actually going to leave with Tentacruel, which indicates he's Toxic Spikes. So right off the bat, I'm going to Volt. Seeing as I don't really mind um, taking the poison only in Tyranitar, I'm going to go right to it, and I'm Scarf. So I know he's going to predict me to be Rocks, probably. He's going to um, just go for Skull Damage here. So I'm going to go for Crunch to get this weekend. So now I know I can get my own Rocks up in the long haul, which is great. He's going to do 30 with Skull. He's some Scarf. And now... I think my play is to double out to Rotom W, but he can even switch. He's going to go to Scizor um, on the crunch. That's fine. Um, I think he's going to be banded, and I don't mind losing a little momentum just to scout upsets. He's going to U-turn right off the bat, and it only does 7, so I know he's scarred from that damage. He's going to go Chomp. Now, I think I make a bit of a pivot through Nicholas um, just to make sure I eat the Toxic um, the toxic Spike so I don't get paralyzed later by something like Thunderous, and just to scout the damage. I see his max attack. Um, so I figure he's going to go for Rocks or Swords Dance. He goes for Swords Dance, and I get Latios incorrectly, and I go for Draco, but he reveals to be Sash, and that sucks because he's only a Steel type. Again, was the Scizor, so this was like a really great matchup. But that surprise set, coupled with my inability to get Rocks up earlier in the game, sucks. Um, he's going to let this go to a Crunch, so I Crunch Slot to take this out. But with Latios gone, Keldeo and Thunderous look really annoying. Anyway, he's going to go straight up to Polytoad. Second round of W on a Scald. Now I'm going to Volt Switch immediately, thinking he's not going to risk Thunderous on a Hydro Pump. And I'm going to go to Tran, I think, on the Toxic. <coughs> yeah, I go Tran on Toxic. The question is now, do I rock or do I double out? Um, I don't want to let him get Tentacruel in, so I'm going to try and go to Rotom W. I go Rotom W, kind of stuff getting Tentacruel. And um, I don't know if he is Protect, but maybe he's scared of Tran Toxic. I'm just going to Volt Switch here again. I don't think he's going to go Thundee. And we get this right. So I'm actually making some really nice plays to kind of claw through a really devastating loss of Latios here. I get the Sand up here. Um, Kind of forcing in Polytoad because that could kind of dictate the next sequence. I can just keep chipping away Pokemon. So I'm gonna go Heatran here, actually predicting the predict my um my Rotom and either go for like a Toxic or double switch out because it's kind of like the mid ground. Also, I just don't need Tran, period. It loses Caldeo, lose Polytoad. So we got Rock. Unfortunately, um, he's gonna crit the Scald. I would have went to Rotom W and tried to preserve that for fodder later, but I don't know if it's a big deal. Anyway, he's gonna go Scissor as I recover because 
I didn't. I was scared of Encore. If I caught mind on Encore, you could just kind of annoy me. I know he's Scarf, so he can't really break me. So I just recover here. And um, now, pretty much, I win the game if this is not Nasty Plot, probably. But if he is Nasty Plot, then he's going to be able to 1v1 me, which is a real big problem. But he can't paralyze me, at least with Toxic Pick up. So I get to calm mind up. I know I live a follow up Thunder no matter what the damage rolls are from 47 to plus 1. So I'm just going to recover. But he reveals himself to be Nasty Plot. So now I'm in a whole world of trouble because my Tar is the only thing faster this weekend. And Latios is gone. So yeah, pretty much the. the, the, the um, Loss of Latios coupled with the sub is just a nightmare. Um, to make matters worse, she's going to crit, but it really doesn't matter because Iron Head's only doing 25-30 anyway, so I would have needed to get really lucky. Anyway, now I try to bait the choke going to Rotom, but also this gives me more chance to dodge Thunder. I know he's going to hit Power Ice, takes him in range. And yeah, no Tower Run, Scarf, Stone Edge, and this gen, they're all HPIs. So now I've got a couple chances to dodge Thunder. Um, I just needed one dodge here because then it would put it in 50-50 range, but if it was Specs Caldeo, I would have lost anyway. Um, but yeah, and I don't dodge there. I would have needed multiple. I would have needed two dodges, maybe three dodges here um, with Rear Nicholas to set up. But yeah, he's going to walk away with the victory here. I get a crit, but it doesn't matter. Choose his physical defense with Dundee. See, so a drill wouldn't die anything. Once Rock Slide. Um, he's going to emerge victorious. Really um, cool team from CF. Again, personally, not my favorite just because the flimsiness of it with Steel type only uh, Scarf Scizor. But it worked out here. It was really nice against the team I brought. And he was able to execute um, better than I was, it seems. Well, I, I'm really not mad at the loss. Um, I played my outs nicely and just didn't work out. Um, really good game, though. Well played by ZF. He's going to advance to 3 3 in black, white, 3 4 overall. And I'm going to fall to 5 2 overall in the black, white. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, off to an 0 1 start this week for my team. But um, I'm sure we're going to bounce back, and I'm sure I'm going to bounce back next week. I'm actually playing a friend of mine, Pearl, um, assuming he's 6 in black, white, which is going to be a really cool game. So, I'm looking forward to it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to bringing you guys more black, white games and more games of my own. Um, but, yeah, this is finished. Have a good night. Peace.